Oh yeah, that's right. You're going live. Ha. Good afternoon, everybody. Oh yeah, that's right. You're going live. Ha. Good. Good afternoon, Darius. There we go. How's it going, Matt K? Yes, back on the farm. Got to remember what I was doing. It's been so long. <clears throat> I think you're a farmer. Yes. How's it going there, Farmer Gaming? And Bodine. Yeah, I gotta empty out my stone picker. That kid, I'm telling you. What? Getting a bunch of frame lo frame drops. I don't know why. Who knows? Finally got your server issue resolved. Getting started uploading the mods and other tools. Nice, nice. That's good. Did you figure uh, what ended up being your issue? Curious in case others might have uh, experienced similar issues. FTP software kept loading it into the wrong folders. Ah, ah that uh, that would do it. Hopefully, now that I've been around the map quite a bit, it stops doing the random frame drops. It's just strange. Ah. How's it going there, uh, Tom? You're having the same issue at frames this morning? Eh, I haven't played since the most recent patch, so maybe it's got something to do with that. I have no idea. No idea. What's that, Mr. Badass? And how's it going there, not so grumpy dwarf? Oh, nice. Congratulations. Nice. How's it going there, Mr. Alpaca? Where's all the zombies? Oh, Mr. Alpaca, thank you for that prime sub. I do appreciate that, sir. How's it going there, Farmer Marks? Did you say you wanted zombies? Yeah. Run them over at the tractor. Hmm. Um, I'm doing. Could be better, but I'm trying to force myself out of the funk I've been in. So I figured I'd come spend some time with you fine folks and see if I can't force myself out of it. And Matt K, thank you for that prime sub as well. I do very much appreciate that. There we 
go. Actually, I was up this morning working on a project for another game that I don't think I'll actually stream, but I do enjoy playing it. It's just very slow paced and... Oh, Farmer Gaming, thank you for those 200 bits. Ooh, Hype Train. Thank you for that. I do appreciate that a bunch. Alright, it is July, which means we are into planting, harvesting type seasony bits. And a hello to you as well there, Dadson. Alright, so... Nothing to actually plant right now in that field that we've got open. I'll probably go canola with it, maybe. Or maybe I'll go millet or something. I'm doing okay, Dadson. How's it going there, Nealisk? Doing okay, I'm just trying to force myself to get out of the funk I've been in. So, I figured I'd do some streaming. See if it helps. Alright, so we do have a field of canola now. Maybe, yeah, I'll go mill it when I can with this field. Uh, well, I just woke up from a nap. Because I was up, uh... At midnight and didn't manage to get back to sleep until about 9 a.m. So yeah, unfortunately it is, Dadson. I think uh, I think a lot of it's weather related. It's just you know the weather is unfortunately warm and cold, back and forth so much. I think it's affecting uh, my back. I hope that's all it is. I gotta paint this, apparently. Let's paint the grass back in, at least. Looks kinda bare without grass on it, right? Let's at least paint the grass back in. It's supposed to be a park after all. It can't be much of a park without grass. Oh, I always planned on coming back. I was just waiting partially for the update. That was one part of it. Um... And then the other part, too, was I was just so burned out on farming from, you know, playing 600 hours, 700 hours in the first three mm -hmm. months of the game. So... I am going to start mixing some farming simulator back in. I'm not going to go, you know, farming every time I stream, just to try and stop myself from burning out again on it. But we'll, uh, we'll mix in some seven days. We're going to mix in some city skylines. Um, I was able to pick up, um, thanks to a, a PayPal donation, the... This was a few streams back. I'd forgotten all about getting it, but I was able with Humble Bundle to pick up uh, pretty much all of the missing DLCs for um, City Skylines. So we will get back to some City Skylines, uh, some Seven Days. We'll mix in some Farming Simulator, and then I'll probably have uh, an some Icarus thrown in there, um, and maybe what I'll do is like one day a week or something like that, or even maybe a, uh, uh, a channel points thing to kind of spin a wheel, uh, to, to switch games. 
I'm open to suggestions if anybody has any, but I, I think something like that might help too with uh, just, you know, stopping the getting burned out on it. Keep things from being too stale. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, I do have Timberborn. That is a pretty fun game. I haven't been in that in a while. So that's a possibility. Do I not have that? I thought I had the, uh... Apparently I don't, but I thought I had the uh, Lumberjack mod put in. Nope! We, ever, <coughs> we never made any storage for copy, did we, Dave? I did not. I don't... I gotta get storage on the map this week. That's the one I used. Okay. Gotta remember my key bindings and stuff. Feels different watching me farm. Oh, I, like I said, I'm... I always had planned on coming back to farming. I was just waiting for... I don't know if you'd call it the urge to farm or whatever, but... I had always planned on coming back. And Mr. Neon, thank you. Or, sorry, Amethyst Neon, thank you for that uh, Prime sub. I do appreciate it. Missed out on the hype train, but oh well. I think I'll be getting City Skylines on Thursday when it becomes free on Epics. Nice, yep. Putting that one back up. Yeah. They do that again. Yeah. Oh, no worries. No worries at all there, Amethyst. There we go. Get rid of that pesky stump. There we go. Doesn't coffee go in a normal silo, Billy's asking. It doesn't, it Billy. Does, it doesn't? Mm -mm, I, thought I it, just tried it. I, I was, was. going to look and see if it was bulk or something. Where did you have it set at? Well, that's the thing. I thought if it was... Isn't that silo set to bulk? The in-game silos? You would think. I mean, this is an in-game silo. I'm no, it's, Let me try oh, it. it's farm silo. How's it uh, going there, right. Michael? I'll probably have to add some things to the farm's cat. Uh, you can certainly ask their uh, farmer gaming. I'll see if I can remember. Do I just have to put it in the fill type thing in the map, Dave? The right fill type category? It should go into the farm silo category in the fill type. There we go. Oh, apparently I need more than that than my wood storage. I oh, thought I was that? Pretty, I thought I was yeah. almost full. Uh, yeah, that's the Western Star Truck Farmer Gaming um, 
I've still got to get in at some point and finish the XML work on that. Yeah, um, I got to get the XML work finished on it and then send it to Fummins. And I believe he was going to be doing some work to get rid of the shapes file warning that pops up on it. Uh, but even Fummins hasn't really been modding as much lately. We've all been kind of taking our, our farm sim break, I guess, a little bit. Oh. Well, most of us. I've been taking a bit. <laughs> Only did it once. And that didn't last long because I beat the the game got boring. Yeah, and No Man's Sky is great, but it does just get repetitive after a while. Yep. As as Agreed. much as they as much as they made it so that you could like never find the same system twice type thing, it did it, there was repetition in what you would find. In the systems, yeah, it was that's the thing. After a while, it's like seen all this, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Okay. The the, pla the planet colors changed a bit, and and this planet was replaced with that planet, but it it still was just looking for resources and ships and. Yeah. The They've same had thing another over update. Over. They've been adding. They did another big update recently. Overhaul yeah, business. I just saw that, um, like mech suit stuff and things like that. Now you yeah, can put an over... AI in it so you can have it follow you around and stuff. And they redid all the, um, tech, guys of tech. Drone. Ah. Whole new combat with the... Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd see there was a big update anyway. for it, but it was just kind of one of those, like, yeah, it's a good game, but it just gets grindy after a while, you know? Yeah. Big time grindy. <laughs> it's like, wow. Wow did the same thing to me, too. Grind. So, yeah, I, I, I do still... Why did you start... I do still have to get back and finish the uh, the 49X at some point, the Western Star. Uh, I got to get back to working on uh, the Volvo project and things, but I've been dealing with some stuff uh, off screen that has has unfortunately sapped some of my mental capacity not not well not not capacity per se but my my fortitude for for doing some of this stuff so hoping mm -hmm. i can uh, fight through it and get back to it looks like we're gonna have to oh well that's right i was waiting for these things to run out of gravel and stuff like that so i can That's what I was doing with that. And that's over there, because I had been loading those up. And I've got all of the gold bars in here, because I was getting ready to sell all of the gold bars. That's one of the things we had been waiting on. Let's take a quick look at the gold price. See where she's at. It's getting real close to that 50 grand mark. I don't think we're going to get any better, so let's uh, make a quick run up. How's it going there, Mr. Master? How's the new job treating you there, sir? Pretty good. That is good to hear. <laughs> My neck just popped like five times. Uh, thank you for that, Billy. Make sure you get uh, Mr. Badass and Master 86 and the gang in there while you're at it. Thank you, Billy. Oh, 
I'm doing all right there, MK. How are you? I'll putt putt my way over to the. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that money fly. <laughs> so... <laughs> Three. Holy crap! Million dollars worth of gold bars in the back of that truck. Have you been saving up? Yes, I have. <laughs> So farm million dollars. Okay. Spending spree. There. That's where it's gonna go. Well, that's good to hear, MK. It's it's been a few days since the last time I actually even streamed. I've been uh missing in action a bit lately. All right, we've got uh, a fair amount of ore in there, some coal. Nails are backing up. We've got ore there. I should probably do... Yeah, let's get that truck dumped out. We'll get this truck dumped out. We'll grab the loader and the truck up into the mines. We'll go grab some coal. All right, I just added it to the. Oh, I got a store. bunch of coal over there on the ground, so I'll scoop that up. We've got to get another storage down. We'll go grab some ore to get into storage. get the second storage place down speaking of scurvy where he's been uh he yeah he's <laughs> he's right here right now <laughs> that Did was gonna say say my name <laughs> exactly. uh, he, he, he's been around he's been popping in now and then he's yeah, playing been... wow yeah <laughs> wow mm. See what I did there. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Scurvy needs to stream some more. Yeah, I do. I'm going to try to get back on a regular schedule. Tail end of this week, hopefully. Though Scurvy's not going to have any filters left with what's going on with the Ukraine, so be aware. Oh, well, you can always change. You just got to go off PG. <laughs> there you go. Well, more of talking politics in my stream than probably normal, so. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a pretty big mess over there. Um, yeah, it's a cluster in three quarters. It is indeed, and it makes it, it makes it hard not to... It, it is not something... Not to discuss what's going on over there. It... It's one of those situations where you can't ignore and override it, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Like you because said, we, it's... It's that big and that important in there, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. That's good to hear, Matt. I need, need the waking up with scurvies again. Waking up with scurvy. We'll get back there. I need to start farming again, so I'm. I just bought the uh, seed hawk. I. Air cart. This, this is literally mm -hmm. the first time I've played Farming Simulator in what a month and a, <laughs> like a month. It's it's been a while. Yeah, and now 9.2 is out for WoW, so I've been playing that. I've been following the prep work for Raid World first, so I'm diving into that this week. Yeah. Cheering on the American Guild this time around. It's like I did last time. They got robbed last time. So, good times. But good news, everybody. What's that? Gas is up to 420 a gallon here in Albany County. <laughs> it was it was pushing just over four dollars a gallon uh, in my area the other day. Yeah. I had to enjoy 
Musk's tweet yesterday on that. I have a list of all our gas stations, and it ranges from 397 to 439. Yeah, you, you know you know it's bad when Musk is saying we need to pump more to oil, drill. even yeah, yep. drill for more oil, <laughs> even though it's gonna hurt Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm sorry, how are you going to make the electricity to power the electric cars? Oh, that's right. Thanks, Ding. Thanks for playing. Hmm. Yep, indeed. Indeed. But I tell you what, I give him credit though. Kudos to him because he's actually saying that we do need his competitor to keep us going. You know, personally. Yeah, absolutely. And it's just like with anything, you need competition. Yeah. No, there. but I, I give the guy respect. I mean, who yep. else would say, you know what? Yes, you need to, you need to bring some attention wow. to it. For sure. Ouch, Dadson. How's it going there, Chris? Yeah. Ouch. Six ninety four oh, U.S. per yeah. gallon over in the U.K. I yeah. saw somebody in. Uh, in a stream the other day, they were, I think they're in California, they were seven something a gallon. Yeah. yeah. There's no excuse for it. We have plenty of oil. <laughs> that's yeah. the problem. That's, that's the problem, but we can't, because we have so much red tape around it, we can't get it in there. Out. Uh, why are you following the gases? <laughs> I, I, I don't even. Well, I, I technically it's have true. a car. It's my wife's car, but it's under my name. But it, it, I still follow the gas prices. He's probably following the gas prices so he knows how much he's saving every week and not buying gas. Who, yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious. I haven't been following it. I looked it up today because I haven't even looked at a pump in over so the only way I'm going to know what the gas prices are is by scanning the market. <laughs> I think buying a new car is out right now. I won't be. I'll be able to buy the car, but fueling well, it. Well, did would did be did, did you see? Uh, apparently, the other day, Biden had a Made in America speech he gave, and he finally acknowledged Tesla. Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yes, I did see that clip, Chris. That was that was pretty uh, impressive. Danny went off on somebody for her, for going after her trying. Wait, what happened? Uh, there's a clip. I think it's in Streamer Talk of Yosho's channel. Danny yeah. went on a rant about people asking like why her characters didn't have hands and this and that when they weren't done yet. <laughs> she just went on this whole tirade. It was, uh, it was pretty funny. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'll need to watch that. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you know what? Let's, uh, we're gonna, he, he put it in streamer <laughs> chat, so it's fair game. We're gonna, where is it? Right here. Yeah. Yeah, Amethyst, it's, it's not looking good at all anywhere over there. I currently don't have, it's because I'm not. If another person oh, asked hold on, me, I gotta... where now are they coffee hands? works in my mouth. Why are they not wearing clothes? <laughs> Is that a speedo? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm gonna come unglued. You wanna fight? Are... I will fight. So I am not free, done. <laughs> the face. Okay. No. <laughs> the face <laughs> and Yosho barely keeping it together. It's because I'm not. If another person. <laughs> if another person. <laughs> she just like. Yeah, I saw that clip and went, okay, yep. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, my sleep schedule's been so weird, I, I've barely caught anybody's streams lately. Like, I mean, even did Dave, like, I, I don't think I've seen much of a Boomhauer stream, and I don't know how long, even X-Man, like, it, my sleep schedule's been so weird. Oh, yeah, just in case you didn't know, we did release a map yesterday. Oh, I know. I was here for that. I was here for the volcano island. I was the one telling you you put the wrong code in again, remember? 
Yes. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I do that all the time. <laughs> I wasn't part of the stream there, Dave. Yeah, you were. I remember now. I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> No, my sleep schedule, of course, with my back getting as bad as it's been, it, it tends to make my sleep schedule even worse than it has been. So now it's like I'm going to bed early because I'm just utterly exhausted towards the end of the day. And then I'm back up at weird hours. Like li literally, I've been I've been back into playing some Galactic Civilization three, which is Ooh. yeah. I I always have really enjoyed that style of game, uh, Master of Orion, Galactic Civ. Um, uh -huh. I'm stuck on my truck. Um, Stellaris, but they don't make for a very fun stream stream because they they can be slow paced things like that but I've been um, putting together a bunch of well I downloaded a bunch of custom races just for their backstories and stuff and then I've been putting together new um, like images and backgrounds and stuff for it yeah, you need to be playing a fast-paced game like Farming Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> well, at, 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 at least there's there's something going on with with there's a game like right. yeah, with a game like uh, Galactic Civ. It's literally okay. What's my research at? Move a ship around here. Hit the turn button. Uh, check out a planet. Do some of this. Hit the turn button again. There's not a lot of like stuff to really keep people involved in it. it yeah. Not only that, it's a five-year-old game, well, seven-year-old game almost now. So there's there's definitely no... Uh, hype for it, for sure. Right. You know? Yeah. Yep. It's like, how do you stream Civilization VI? Yeah, well... Oh, no, actually, there's, there's a Civ VI, Humankind, there's a, there's a lot of people that'll watch it. As a matter of fact, really, I love oh, yeah. Civilization. Huh. Uh, if you huh. love if you love Civ Six, yeah, uh, I'm going to plug a YouTuber slash Twitch streamer quick. Uh, Potato McWhiskey. Potato Mc. <laughs> it it, okay. it it it's he's not PG. <laughs> I know that's not going to bother you, Scurvy, but he's not no. PG. Um, nah. it, he is probably the most knowledgeable Civ 6 person I've ever seen. He has such a knowledge of the game. It's almost hard to watch him stream it and watch his YouTube videos on it because he moves so quickly. Like literally, he'll he'll he can beat the game on god difficulty, deity difficulty in less than 200 turns consistently no matter what Yes, Billy. Potato Mick Whiskey. He's also on Twitch. But on Twitch, he'll no, stream thanks, and have 300 people watching him play Civ 6. No kidding. Huh. I, I'm really looking forward to Civ 7. Yeah. Um, it, he, he, he does play uh, like Humankind every now and then. Things like that. But he, he does like really really interesting things with Civ 6. He does a lot of tier lists on uh, YouTube for things like that. Uh, he plays Humankind and he's just he's really funny to listen to but his name has a backstory to it and it's not PG. So. Ah. I don't mind. <laughs> Sounds like a good backstory. He he is Irish so hence Potato and ah. was you know yes, all, all of that. Sense. Um, apparently he was playing 
It might have been... He was playing a multiplayer game against a friend of his at the time. I guess they're no longer um, amicable to each other. <laughs> but um, he, he was trouncing on this guy so badly that the guy went off and said, called him Potato McWhiskey, um, insert expletives <laughs> and type thing. Stuck. And the name stuck. It, it just, it stuck. So he's Potato McWhiskey. <laughs> But yeah, he's he, he's a he's a really funny guy to watch, especially if you love watching Civ Six content. He has a lot of it. I didn't even know you can get mods for Civ Six. Oh yeah, Th there's oh. some there are some uh, workshop mods on Steam that make a huge, huge uh, difference in the way the game plays. Yep, he, he also does, uh, believe it or not, every, I think it's every Saturday they do it now, or it might be every Friday night, or maybe he hasn't played since Thursday, I, I don't remember his exact schedule, he does a Dungeons & Dragons group, uh, tabletop, Dungeons & Dragons. And it's the same group, it's with quite a few other streamers, um... It all gets saved to one of the guys on in the group has a YouTube channel that saves all of the the uh -huh. streams. But he'll live. I think Potato live streams to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Oh, okay, all right. But yeah, he's uh he's definitely worth checking out if you like Civ Six. Thank you. Because I do. You guys have seen me play Six, Civ Six a lot when I'm in Discord and stuff like that. So. Oh yeah, that's a good relaxing game where I can be, you know, if something interrupts me, who mm -hmm. cares because it's turn based, you know, I'm not losing yep. anything. So uh, I, I'm I'm the same way. Yeah, let, let's see. Uh, one second while I'm popping windows around here real quick. But you can see there is humankind. No, no, don't launch the bleeping game. You did. This might be loud, I apologize. I just wanted to move the icon, not launch the game, you stinking thing. Uh this one's pretty fun. It it's it again, it's if you haven't seen it, Scurvy, it's very similar to Civ Six, but you go through different ages and you evolve your civilization from one to the next as you go through the ages. Okay. It, it's I it's really that. interesting. I might stream it at some point. Um, because it, it is a really... In, it, it, it You almost never get the same game twice. Because you That's literally cool. start out as a nomadic tribe... And then you start in the ancient era, and you pick an ancient era civilization. And then as you progress through accomplishing tasks, you rack up points, or stars, that can be used to advance your civilization from ancient era to, like, the medieval era. And you'll change from one civilization to another. Um, and you go through, it's really interesting, but there's Civ Six. I do have SnowRunner. XCOM's another game I get into every now and then. It's really fun turn-based um, strategy where you'll do missions and you end up with units on a battlefield and you move them around the battlefield uh, in like a hex pattern. Mm -hmm. um, it's a pretty fun game. I don't have EVE Online. Scurvy versus Darius Civ 6 stream till game end oh that could take a while that's and that could take that could take a while that that might be a multi-stream like a multiple day thing <laughs> that, that could be that could be interesting yeah yeah that could do it i'd be up for it though scurvy yeah we could do that sometime city skylines like i said stellaris medieval dynasties here icarus i still yeah. have transport fever 2 on here 
I saw you've been playing uh, Skylines there a bit, too. Yep. Yep. Uh, actually, Boomhauer was able to... He, um, the sale ended now, but he mentioned that a lot of the um, DLCs were on sale on Humble Bundle. Oh. And uh, I was able to basically pick up every single one of the DLCs that I was missing through Humble Bundle. Uh, for like twenty one oh, awesome. bucks, <laughs> it's like yeah. score, <laughs> sweet. Yeah. Uh, surviving Mars is a fun little city builder. You mean Satisfactory game? still up here. Seven days. There's Timberborn. <laughs> Told you I have it. Uh, Jurassic World Evolution Two. I never finished. Surviving the aftermath is another fun little um, top down city builder, uh, apocalypse style. Pretty fun. Oh. Humankind's a new release. Humankind's fairly new, yeah. It's only been out for a little while. Yeah, last year. Yeah. Yep. Not even a year yet. Yeah. I got Crash Lance, thanks to uh, Georgia Assassin gifted it to me. I gotta play Ooh. that at some point. Um, and another city builder that my wife and I used to really enjoy playing uh, apparently is getting a re-release after a... Um, this would be the easier way to show it. Um, <clears throat> they're updating the graphics and uh, re-releasing the game. Pharaoh. It used to be <gasps> Pharaoh and Cleopatra. Yep. The city builder. Yep. Demo's out, Scurvy. Oh, I played the snot out of that game. Literally. That Caesar 3... Uh, what this, was the, this is literally the, like uh, Sim Chinese City, one. the old Sim City. Yep. Uh, yep. But you're. Well, it's the old. It's, it's, a, it's Egypt. Caesar three. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I played. I played thousands yeah. upon thousands upon thousands of hours on that. Actually, yeah. I have Pharaoh cool. and Cleopatra on good old games. Yeah. Well, I've I've I got Pharaoh and Cleopatra. Movie. I used to play a lot of it. Um, prior to Steam coming yep. out and stuff like that, but I I came yep. across this the other day, yeah. Planned oh, release date is like... soon. Yeah, but that was a long time ago for that, that one. That came out in the, yeah. like, the 2000s. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah it, I, it, I played it, Pharaoh. Yeah, yep. it, it's, it's getting a re-release with uh, a slightly updated graphics. They're definitely not as blocky, you know? Yeah. You can see yeah, they're definitely not as blocky. Just... It's still, I mean, it's it's it, it's, it's like one of those Minecraft. games that you, it, you you would lose hundreds of hours just literally literally sitting there building your cities, yep. building your monuments, yep. the whole nine yards. Hey, JD. A JD, very oh, chill, just relaxing game to play. Yep. So yeah, it's uh, it's getting a re-release coming. That's soon. interesting because that was <laughs> that was probably late nineties. Yeah, Win Windows uh, Seven late Plus. Late nineties, early two thousand. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I played that before WoW. Yeah, uh, that was definitely before WoW. Yeah, uh, yeah that was early 2000s. Release date, October 31st, 1999. 99? So. Wow. For the original, I thought for the so. original wow. store page. Yeah. Wow. But, I played, you know, it's, I played a lot of that game. So did I. I, I enjoyed it a lot. And I when put I was, thousands I, and thousands of hours into that game. Yep. Yeah. Yep, with the it's god good. effects in there. Oh yeah, it, it's getting a re-release right there. So I saw that and I was like, "Ooh, that looks pretty good." Ding. Ding. It was yep. that one in Command and Conquer. So oh, and Conquer, love yep. the old Command and Conquer. Oh, loved them. I come across this the other day, picked up the demo of it. I want to check this out. I'll probably do a stream of it at some point to see what this game's about. Uh pandemic you've got to manage your resources and build out your train and your and you travel from place to place on a train mm -hmm. seems kind of interesting uh and another demo i picked up the other day that i want to check out on stream is ixion um apparently you're building a space station but it's kind of tiled uh city builder similar to like city skylines Ooh. But you're Ooh. working within the constraints of a space station, and oh. you you send out uh, expeditions to different places. For it's resources. dropped down one, JD. Looks interesting. 
Indeed. But yeah, g games like Pharaoh, um, Age of Empires, uh, they, they, there was a lot of those games that I put a lot of hours into. Yep. Um, <clears throat> but again, one of one of my favorite first l real space builders that I got wicked wicked into was Master of Orion 2. Orion, I was just gonna say that. Yep. Yep. I used to play the snot out of this game. I I I played the snot out of it. And Master of Orion 3 and the Master of Orion uh reboot that they tried to do. Uh I played a lot of those. StarCraft. I love StarCraft. Oh, StarCraft. Yep. yep. The ori the yep. original Warcrafts. Starcraft. StarCraft. Yep. 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 Mm, excuse me. But yeah. Somebody was trying to do a spin-off of um Pharaoh called Builders of Egypt. But yeah, it, ne it, it never sucked. it never it, it sucked. I yeah. have it. it yeah, sucked. the prologue. It yep. it never got uh it never got developed. Yeah. Now, as I was telling Dave the other day, and th this has been extremely impressive. I still haven't played much of Icarus since it actually launched. You see, I'm only at 3.8 hours. I just haven't played it. Um, but look, look, look at these patches. Week 13, week 12, week 11, week 10, week 9, week 8, 7, 5, yeah. 4, 3, 2, week 6. They did have one. They've had major updates every week since release, adding more missions adding more features that have been requested by the um the community including awesome. respecting your talent trees which was never intended in the first place you were intended to have multiple characters <laughs> oh. so for for a for a company to put out a game and put that much into constantly developing it since release has yep. been very refreshing to see. <laughs> but yeah, Master of Orion 2, Civilization 2. I played a ton of Civilization 2. That was that was one I was really into playing for a while. As a matter of fact, I literally had just gone out to the garage the other day because I knew, I knew I had had one of the Civilization games. But I couldn't remember... If and I thought it was Civ three, but then I was thinking about it, going like, no, because I haven't played it in in quite a while, and it it, it couldn't have been Civilization three. Civ two. Dark Avatar. Still have it on disc. Not that I have a CD ROM to install it and play, <laughs> but I've got it. I have a USB DVD ROM drive just in case. You ever play that one, Scurvy? Which one? Icewind Dale? No. It was a uh, turn-based uh, Dungeons & Dragons uh, like 2D scrolling type game. Huh. It was pretty fun. You'd, you'd make your party of six players, up to six players, and you'd travel around uh, Icewind Dale Forgotten Realms. Neverwinter Nights... Again, Forgotten Realms, kind of like Baldur's Gate. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. But they they were more of um, the the R. A. Salvatore. Yep. Stuff. Good series of books. I like Drizzt. Drizzt. Yep. Drizzt. 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 How about uh, that game? Dave might remember this one. Spore. Wow. Oh yeah, I have Spore. <laughs> I loved Spore. I thought it had great potential. Oh, so did I. DVD ROM. I just they needed <laughs> I to. Yeah, it's sad that they just let something like that. Well, Knights of the Old Republic funny. too. Yep, yep. Kotor. I love Kotor. Kotor. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep, that came out. Uh, what twenty two thousand two. Dungeon, Dungeon Keeper, Dungeon Keeper 2. That was always a fun little top-down yep. game. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Played some of that. All right, you guys probably won't be able to see the writing on this. Sim Farm Disc 1. Oh, I got that. Not Farm Sim, yeah. Sim uh -huh. Farm. Uh -huh. <laughs> A lot of irrigation. Heck, he 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 some people in chat might not even know what this is. <laughs> no, probably not. No, I never played that. I didn't even know they created a uh, oh, no. farm. Uh... Age of Empires, there's Knights of the Old Republic 1, Heroes of Might and Magic. Yes, yes, I did play that. Heroes of Might and Magic yep. 3 right there. Oh my gosh, yep. I played Heroes of Might and Magic when back on my Commodore 64. <laughs> Elder Scrolls 3 That's... Morrowind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that where we just came from over here? Yeah, but b back when the only way to get the uh, the the editor for the game was on a disc. <laughs> oh yeah, Sim Tower, Maxis Games, Sim Ant, yes, Amethyst, yes. yes. Sim Ant. Did yeah, anybody Earthquake. ever play the game Creatures? No. I don't remember Creatures. No, but they oh, had the yeah. little Norns that were you crossbred. <laughs> it was another uh, genetics type game. When that mid nineteen nineties. It's... He he he! Go! Th this was the original farm sim, 1993. Oh my word! It was good. I hate to say it, it was a good game. Oh, it was a fantastic game. Your animals could break out of their pens and wreak havoc. You actually had uh, when when you harvested your crops, you'd get a grading on the yield, and the better the yield, the better the quality the better your money was on it. You had strawberries and stuff back then. Does that ring any bells there? Uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the oh, that, irrigation, that... you had to turn the valves. Uh, you, yep, you, you had to irrigate your fields. If you over-irrigated, uh -huh. you'd ruin your crops. So you literally had valves on the ground, like, you, like uh, Big Daddy was saying. You had to have pumps and stuff like that to be able to... <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Then they had a little worm icon as for the uh, uh, yeah, like you pesticides. Had, you had pesticides, for... uh, weeds you had to deal with, the whole nine yards. It, it, that this game in a way was more involved than Farm Sim 22. Hmm? Your, your fungicides, herbicides, the, the whole nine you you had to deal with for chemicals. And like I said, wee, wee. Is it, uh, they're, they've got corn in here, but it's dying because it's got no water. So you, you the, the whole, you had to have windbreaks to stop the wind from drying your crop out too much. You know, here, here he is putting in animals. You had horses, you had cows. Uh, pigs, sheep. And if they went hungry, they broke through the fence, if I remember yep. right, right? Oh, yeah. If they were unhappy, they would literally bust the fences and then start running around. But, yeah, I mean, and, and this was from 93. I, I played hours upon hours upon hours of that game. Yeah, exactly. How did I ever play with these graphics? Mm -hmm. But I mean, literally, they they had more in depth in the management of a farm in this game <clears throat> than you do currently. You had yes, disasters. You had tornadoes that would come uh -huh. through your fields. <laughs> right. And and if they wrecked your fence and your animals got loose, yeah, you you then had to repair the fence, sell off the animals that got loose because there was no way to pick them up. Here's the valves that he was talking about. Your water towers. You had to have pumps to be able to pump the water out of the rivers and stuff like that. There was a lot in this game that, that you don't even have in a farming game now. It's absolutely incredible how much they actually had in that game back then. But, yeah, Ma Maxis also did Simant. Yep. Hello, welcome. It is time for I played a lot of Simant. It, it just, like, I, I, I remember playing... 
hundreds of hours of the old Golden Axe. Thank you, Billy. Yep, there's another one that I used to play. Oregon Trail. Oregon love Trail. Oregon Trail. Oh, <laughs> love the Oregon Trail. Trying yeah. to explain Oregon Trail to my kid, my oldest. Oh, jeez. He, he had died no dysentery. clue. Yeah. <laughs> he died of dysentery. <laughs> you tried to forge the river. You lost your cart. You lost your oxen. <laughs> but can you remember a bard's tale? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know... Bard tale one, two, and three. I, I, I almost hate comedy. NBC for this, but yes, the, the, the Mountain Dew Spark... I really hope sticks around. <laughs> is it that good? Oh, is it it's good? fantastic. My yeah, wife does... It? It, it's raspberry lemonade. Oh. My wife, who doesn't like uh, Mountain Dew at all, even she took a sip of it and kind of went like, that's... that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to try to pick that up. Yeah. Yep, I'll put it on my next daughter. E even the zero <laughs> sugar one is phenomenal. Oh. No, it, yeah, it is. Sugar. It's actually really good. My wife got the zero sugar because I drink too much soda, so, you know, she's looking out for me and stuff. Understandable. You know, What's really right. nice Perfect. there's a large Jewish population around uh, one of the price choppers here next to me in there, so they always have the Mountain Dew made with real cane sugar. Oh my god, that is the best Mountain Dew ever. Instead of high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. Because it's got to be kosher. Yeah. Golden Axe. Oh. This was a 2D scroller. That, yeah. I, I, I used to play this a lot, Billy. Um, We'd go down to... They, they used to have this as an arcade game, and we would go down to Old Orchard Beach or the the nearby mall, and I'd play this on the arcade. Yep. Those are your graphics right there. See, kids, this is, this, this is why I don't go back to my... This is why I don't play Minecraft. I grew out of these graphics over the years. I don't want to <laughs> go back to them. Actually, those graphics bit. are better than Minecraft. To be well, well, yeah, they're 16 bit. That's why. There. Yeah. <laughs> they're 16 bit, not 8 bit. Where's Casket? Is he in in chat or no? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? We're on a memory trip. Oh, oh yes, I played that yeah, a played lot. That. Yeah. Say good. They had a TV show that they had a t TV show TV yep. show spinoff of it. Oh yeah, they did. That was Where on in the PBS, world is... right? Yeah, yep. where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I used to watch that show. Where in the world is it's Carmen, Carmen San, San Diego? Diego. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the memories. The memories. No. I used to play a lot of the learning company games. So like Gizmos and Gadgets. Yeah. You guys remember Gizmos and Gadgets? Love that. I don't remember that one at all, but... Remember like uh, Treasure Mountain... There's like a treasure. Uh, there was like a space one. There's one under the sea. Hmm. In there. Oh, great, a dog. Mm. Are you playing Seven Days? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Day one oh nine. I was telling Dave. Um, there's a guy I've recently started watching on YouTube. Uh, he plays Seven Days. He plays some other games and stuff. Uh, he just started a new series on YouTube. He's where I got that killing corridor idea for my um, my horde base. His name's Jawoodle. And he, uh, he started a new seven days where he, with the help of somebody else, modified the random world generator. So his map is basically one giant city. He has no outside of city area. So he's always at the mercy of city hordes. And the ferals and everything else from the cities. It It's really strange to watch him play. But yeah, he uh, he's pretty funny to watch play. 
Uh, day, day one, he's in town trying to go through town. Ooh, excuse me. And he's literally dealing with uh, ferals and everything else. Doesn't even have a knife. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, yeah. It's like, ooh, that's rough. <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, it's interesting to watch. I, I, I'd like to know what they changed to be able to do that. Alright, I still got plenty of water. <clears throat> Hello? Yo. It's yo. How's it going there, Mr. NBC? Good, how you doing? Hey, NBC. Doing alright. Did hey, you ever seen... um did you ever get a chance to watch good. that video I added you in Oh, the one for satisfactory? Yeah. Yeah, I want to I'm going to download that. I got to figure out does anybody in the group know how to install stuff like that? Cuz he downloaded the save game. I I imagine I, it's I, the same way. I don't know. I know there's uh videos on it. But I I've, yeah, I've never check done that it. Out. But yeah, just look just watching that video was like, wow, I feel so inadequate. So, <laughs> I will tell you, he's got to be one heck of a modder because, like, everything in that pretty much was base game, but he changed uh, the size of it, and I don't micro, know how. Micromanage mod. Oh, is that what it, that is? Yep. Okay. But Bo yeah, no, Bo that's. Boom watched it. We were talking insane. about it, and he said that's the, that's the name of the mod that he used for it. Just like, oh, okay. just looking at the level of detail he put into everything, like I, I can't even imagine the number of hours he has into building that. Well, so it's not just one person. I figured out well, from watching Kibitz. And it's and like four. Well, I, I was assuming it was multiple with the level of detail they have into that. Oh yeah, but yeah, I mean, anybody that hasn't played really can't take in perspective how big that is. But you look at the area of the desert that that's in. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's oh, it's it's, it's massive. massive. It's absolutely massive, and so. the level of detail. Just like when Kibitz is sitting there every now and then pulling out the the little uh, building tool to be able to like remove blocks, and you just yeah. see how many blocks get get clicked over just in a doorway. Oh, I know. And you're like, I know. Like, like literally the. I, I'd spend an hour building one doorway to try and get them the way they did it. Well, and, you know... And that's for like, every doorway. Where they did the, the sides of it on the outside, where they did the metal door with the steel beam overlay and then mm -hmm. the signs of... It's insane. It Hats off. Incredible. Um, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. I just... My, my, my first thought was like, wow, I, I would never even in my wildest dreams think up doing something like right. that, let alone figure out how to do it. Just yep. like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. A absolutely hats off to those guys because it is truly phenomenal work. Um, For sure. If, if anybody here plays Satisfactory... It, it, that that video will <clears throat> like just what's truly possible you mind if I post the link in chat oh no absolutely do it <laughs> yeah it was just, it was phenomenal yeah I mean just truly truly there phenomenal right there yep check out that video it's what like 16 something minutes long I think Kibitz did a video yeah. where he shows it off and yep. I mean, he rushes through some of it too. Where like, I I, well, I could probably spend funny, hours going through that, still finding details. The first four or five minutes, he's just in awe. <laughs> you know, I mean, he he doesn't even know where to start. And I didn't realize until he stepped out of the HUD that that HUD is actually. I mean, if you know how big that HUD is, when he huh. steps out, it's like the smallest thing on that ship. Oh yeah, absolutely. It, <clears throat> yep. Uh, so. uh, Farmer Gaming, I have my government building placed right here towards the southern end or the western edge of Field 25. 
Any on farmer this, game, uh, farmer mark. Through street. My my original uh, terraforming project. 4.0 hasn't been released, has it? Uh, yes. not... Uh, the, the you beta. can get a beta version of it from... Where? Um, it doesn't work on the map. Yeah, oh, it, does, it doesn't mind. work. But the, the, there was a beta version of it released by FS Miner. I tried it, and... Well... I... I tried it, but the one thing I didn't look to see was if they had the tip to ground fixed. I didn't uh, I know see in it in there six. anymore, so I think it has been fixed, but... Yes, 3.5 is fine. But... Yep, still works. Yep, we were looking for bulldozer support and stuff like that, so... It does, it's or, not as easy as you think. Yeah. The bulldozer. Yeah, hey, I, I actually made an XML for one yeah. of the uh, vehicles at one point. but Real quick, question for you. Can you have double underscores in a name for an example like FS22 underscore... NBC underscore acres. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I, w I wasn't sure if you could do doubles. Just don't put a space. <laughs> right. You can put as many as you want. Okay. All right. I don't know if they can be like they are in my name. Twitch name. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can do them back to back. Right. Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure because I never... And I don't know why I need to get in the habit of, and I'm actually starting right now. I never put FS, whatever the number is, uh -oh. after you know, in front. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's important. Don't worry, you're not the only one. Well, I typically I've never published anything, so I always know what it goes with. So it's never been. <laughs> There's I've yep. got several of them that don't have it. Oh really? <clears throat> yeah, they just really got into doing that in 19 as a standard okay and i've been doing it yeah because you did it in 19 i noticed and yep i will tell you if well, i let's ever check make out another some of the map, other factories i will definitely do my, my where my folder placement is a lot different because i have a lot of extra routes to the folders mm-hmm <laughs> who should i look at picking up these Plots here Becky, with some of that money. I did get all that money from the gold masters. Wonder if I should pick these up. These plots. Because I wanted to extend my orchards and stuff down this way at some point. I can uh, I can show you real quick. Uh, yeah, I might I might pick up some of these plots of land at some point. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm not far off of that. I was gonna take a quick buzz around to some of the other factories here, quick. All right, that seems to be working out all right. It's got a lot of fabric into it. Maybe I should. Uh, not use that spot. That spot. Maybe I should boost the clothes now. With the fabric. Yep. So as of right now, Dave, the map size is 1.48. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. You can use that name all you want to, Farmer Gaming. So mad unicorn farts didn't work. That's where I left my Western Star. Hey, 
There's unicorn treats. Got all kinds of flour. Well, actually, as a matter of fact, uh, it's spitting out cakes and bread and everything else. I've got to empty the triggers here. Look at all the cakes. <coughs> oh no, absolutely you can do that. Mm. Absolutely you can. What hasn't been named yet? Uh, many things. <laughs> I've got... I got a lot of things that haven't been named yet. You got the winery down yet? Uh, nope. I just activated uh, the winery for the first time this afternoon. Actually, as a matter of fact, name. too, I still got this in here. I've been trying to think of something that, um... For Miss Desiree to do with the park and the deer. But, uh... I should find a spot for the winery. Unless I don't have it yet. Productions. Uh, I took a sign pack off of uh, fs22mods.com, I think is where I got it. And then I replaced the images on it. And in one case, the textures. Because I didn't like how they looked. Yeah, I still gotta put the barrel factory down, the charcoal factory at some point. I still gotta get the small concrete in. Alright, put the winery down. I got a name for it. <laughs> we gotta <pick laughs> What'd you name it? I ain't gonna tell you, someone else will take it. <laughs> Big Daddy's Bubbling Beer Foam. <laughs> That's a big building. Where do I want to put that? <laughs> Maybe I'll stick it over by the uh, juice factory. This yeah. one's called Name Generator, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. How's it going there, KW? Hey, KW. Uh, it, was, it was a little convoluted, but I figured it out. Wasn't the oh, easiest should... thing in the world to put in, but uh, they they kind of they kind of explain how to do it in the uh, in the mod. They've got a an extra like readme file on how to do it. There, that's in rename. There what was go. that mouthful? Big Daddy's bubbling beer foam. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what I said. <laughs> hey, it actually took that. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, it didn't take unicorn farts. Yeah. Uh, if you try to put the word fart in a name, it doesn't take it. Really? No. How's it going, cowboy? Yeah. It, it's kind of funny. Uh... He'd, uh, Boom tried to name the shell factor Unicorn Farts. Hmm. So, li literally, I'm going to F-A-R-T-S. You all see this. Oh, dear lord. Farts. Enter. You can't. You can't do Apple. Mm-hmm. Yep. So now it that looks like I shell unicorn fists. Thing. Yeah, it's gotta be translation thing in there for it. Huh. Yeah, it it, en it ends up coming out uh, shell unicorn fists, <laughs> which is almost more inappropriate <laughs> than farts. 
<laughs> yeah, it really is. Yeah. <laughs> so I just go with it. <laughs> Actually, as a matter of fact, that is one thing I do have to do. I need to finish getting the rest of the... Do I have all of the harv... Okay, I'm still missing one. This is the 9070. Did I, have... Did I buy two of them by accident? Probably. No, one's for blueberries and one's for... Uh... Coffee. Uh, yeah, see, I've got the blueberry one. I've got the coffee one. I also have the grape one. I just need the olive one. How's it going there, Tigris? How you been? It's just confusing when you walk up to it because they all just say broad 9070 on them, except for this one is 9090X. But, you know, you, you sit there and look at it and you go, oh, uh, which one's which? Because you can't you tell. Paint them different colors. Uh, yeah, I'd love to, but they're not paintable. So, you know, w w with this one, you literally have to get into it to say, oh, this is the blueberry one. Oh, the other one is the, you know. So we need to get these sent down to the farm. I think I'm going to try and stick over here on this corner somewhere. A, uh, <clears throat> a shed. Yeah, that's a good idea right there. Let's farmland. Let's buy... It's an expensive mm. piece of farmland. I'll develop this into something at some point. But now I can put a uh, shed on the back side over here or something. So how you been, Big Daddy? Oh, I've been doing all right. Good. Getting bronchitis, that's not good, D. That's not good. Oh, that's, that's not never fun. Oh, uh people at your work doing doing all right there's <laughs> i told these guys this morning i've been testing st patrick's day events so while they're fighting a war in the morning at night they're still making the game doing oh. new missions for the <laughs> st patty's day so it's kind of funny yeah my hat's off to them yeah, yeah they're, so they're, they're pretty cool yeah they're main developments over in ukraine i take it yeah there? yep kiev oh, wow oh geez yep they're kiev however you want to spell it. it's ky uh vi yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yep, they're still fighting. Kiev, Kiev, something like yep. that. They're still going to town, so. Yeah, they said they're fighting a war during the day and then doing work at night. They said, like, oh, by the way, can you test this? I'm like, uh, yeah, you guys okay over there? <laughs> I just like the uh, the president over there. It's like, yeah, I don't want to write out so many more and ammunition. It's just like. One, hats two, off to three, you, four. Yep, that's the guy I can get behind for sure. Okay, so one went that way, two went that way. They're all heading to the same place. Um, unfortunately, there is no such thing as a mining machine to take care of the decorative boulders on a map, Tigris. The only way to do that is to go into the map and delete them. Very all right. Visible. One went that way, three of them went this way. They're all going to the same spot. And apparently Dave's coffee one goes a little bit faster than this one, so it's now um, merging oh, with it. Am I going to get a baby combine? No, it's doing bump drafting. Because yes, it's bump drafting. Yes. And Ken Wood PT, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. How you doing? Yep. We've, we've got a um, farm car race going on here. The New Holland 9090X here, 9070L, sorry, is in the lead. 
followed very closely by the 9090X Coffee Harvester. Clap and Cheeks TV. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the channel. How are you doing? Being tailed very far in the behind by the uh, 9090X Olive Harvester there. Ooh! Ooh! Nope, he was going to try and go around, lost too much speed. Fell in behind. That's going all right. It's going all right. That little inconsistency there in the drivers. They're taking the long way around. Then we have um, this guy here who decided to take a completely different path than the rest of them. I think this guy's cheating over here. He's cheating. Yeah, because they're going to go over this way, I guess, somehow. I'm curious to see... Oh, no, they're going to come down the um, the interstate. I have a feeling I'm going to have three of these that I'm going to have to fix. Probably. Let's go follow them in the old Western Star. I like that Western Star flatbed. Yeah, I gotta finish getting the XML done at some point. Wait, where'd the other one go? There was a third one shortly behind those two. No. Isn't that three in a oh, row? Because no. it was, it was yeah, oh yeah, blue, it is, it brown, is. blue, and then the, well, the fourth one took the, the special the, the, route. The brown one had been so close to the first one that I didn't even notice it at first. They're bump yeah. drafting, all right. Oh yeah, well, they're, they're, they're cruising. A whopping 15 miles an hour. I ain't blocking you, so stop it. Heck, at this point, just give me a chain. I'll write. I'll I'll yank all three of them there faster. Mm-hmm. They're just uh, jammed semi. right together in a pile. Yep, semi, with a trailer on it. I almost did, but I was like, yeah, you know what? What the heck? I'll st I'm going to stick a shed here for my harvesting equipment. I'll level this out. Reminds me, I actually need to uh, come in here at some point, and I do need to buy this plot of land that I have no purpose to own other than... <gasps> oh, excuse me. It, um comes into the edge of the property over here so my property line actually ends here not here it let me put these here but apparently I don't own that piece of property so what five feet worth of the field but I own this point here because I own that. Makes no sense. The best way to get silt. Uh, are you on Wolf Creek? Are you on Uncharted? Or are you on Volcano Island? Because on Wolf Creek, silt is available in this pond here. This pond here. And this pond up here. So you have to own one of these three ponds. 
and then you get the silt out of the out of the bottom of the pond. If I run over here quick, you'll see there's the silt in the bottom of the pond. Not a problem, Kenwood. Ho! Yes, 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 we see you. Uh, you're not gonna have to worry about dredging because it doesn't actually, um, damage your vehicle being in it. There. Stupid workers. I have to stick a sign on the building so I can tell which combine's which. <laughs> that or take uh, Dave's and bring it into Giants and stick a sign on it or something. Blueberries. Just so I can tell the difference between the uh, grape and blueberry one. Or make it purple or something. Something to change its color so it's not mm -hmm. the same. So yeah, so you can tell what it is. Yeah, we're gonna have a whole lot of harvesting here in the. Uh, you would have to here. actually create a mod out of it. Ah, uh, gotcha. The other one I did create a mod and added it to the map, but I didn't. Only reason why is because it said olive on it, and I. That one doesn't. But in order to do it, it's using the in-game mod. It's well, actually, you could probably put the coloring in the XML. Yeah, I think Imagine. you can. Without do it. Without actually having. Without the doing a either. graphic, you can If you wanted to add a graphic change, yeah, then I'd you have, have to add put the i3d in. Yep. But you should be able to do some type of coloring option. Oh. I can look into that. So tasty. Isn't it? Billy says yes. You can do just the XML. Yes. Too late, Billy. You already said it. Too late, sir. Alright, it is July 2nd. There is nothing to harvest as far as I know. Is there any contracts available? Got some bailing contracts. I really don't feel like bailing right now. We do have some harvesting contracts. We've got some supply contracts, but nothing I'll ever actually be able to supply. Yeah, I don't have 37,000 liters of concrete block. I don't have 88,000 liters of Honey Nut Cheerios either. I liked Honey Nut Cheerios as a kid. Well, yeah, a, a million dollars for 88,000 liters of it. I don't have 88 pallets. How's it going there, uh, JSRA? Dang it, I got a... Something on the top of my desk that's causing my mouse to scratch on it or something. Ever since the update, this one... This one the lights think they're on when they're not on. 
weirdness and stuff. All right. <clears throat> Let's uh, get over here. And I guess what we're going to do is... Uh, what? X will be flatten. Z will be... No, not Z. Y, B. I need raised ground. There we go. <coughs> A pile of stone here. Might as well get it spread out quick. That's good to hear, Jay. Come on, really? Really? No, I enabled terraform to not turn on there we go <laughs> Oh, nice there, Tigris. Yeah, I've been a little out of the farm sim loop lately. Haven't really been keeping up with mods at all. <laughs> Harvest and canola on Wolf Creek. Nice. I'll be harvesting canola in a couple of in-game days. I also need to... Uh Spent some time. I was trying to get my <clears throat> uh, Twitch integration set up on seven days the other day, but it wouldn't link up properly. Special integration for that? Uh, the, it's built in Twitch integration on seven days. Huh? Interesting. What the heck cord is that that I was touching my foot on? Oh. Power that cord, I need to get hung up. I still gotta fix all of the cords underneath my, uh, feet. Or underneath my desk for the tower. Ah. Yeah. Hey, Big Daddy. You still there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um... Was it you that was having issues trying to get your PC to post when you built it? No, that was Fummins with Memoirs. Oh, Fummins with Memoirs? Yeah. I can't remember. Do you remember if he went DDR5 or DDR4 with the RAM on that one? Four. Four? Four. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And it took forever for the first thing to post. Then every uh, it's like it's doing like some self calibration in there, and I don't get it. Uh, it it's um. From what I understand, I was watching a Jay's Two Cents video the other day, and this it, it's what made me think of this. Um, and I couldn't remember who was having the issues, but there is a thing with the new 12th gen Intel chips where um, if you have certain RAM speeds, it will refuse to post. <laughs> if you have more than two slots filled. 
That doesn't make any living sense whatsoever at all. Thanks, Intel. The uh, if you're especially like the 6,000 speed dim uh, DDR5 RAM, if you have all four dim slots filled, even if the board supports it, the um, if you have XMP turned on, which is Intel's way of clocking the, you know, overclocking or I should say clocking the correct RAM speeds to the processor, um, and you try to go anything above 4,000 megahertz, it won't post unless you take two of the RAM slots out or two of the oh, RAM chips out. Ridiculous. Yep. 12th gen Intel. Good job, Intel. Apparently it was a thing too with the DDR4 when the faster RAM started to come out um, until BIOS updates came out to address it. Yeah. Yeah. But the speeds for the DDR5 shot up so quickly uh, oh, that yeah. apparently the the um, manufacturers and Intel haven't gotten to addressing it because a, a lot of the the BIOS updates that you'll see come out say um, improved uh, memory speeds or whatever in part of the uh, you know, update notes for the for the BIOS updates. Yep. That's one of the things they're doing is they're addressing faster RAM speeds, and they just haven't been able to catch up with the DDR5 stuff yet. Ah, cutting timber on Green River Valley. Gotcha. That map just came out, right? I think. Uh, yes. Alright, that cord is going to irritate me until I can fix it. Because it's just where my foot is sitting, beyond the pedals. <laughs> I gotta address the cabling underneath my desk. At some point. It's been out for a month from FDR. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that's right, that's their map, I forgot. Works beautifully with Terraform. Nice. Is that uh, the 4.0 Terraform, or is that... Uh, one of the other versions of Terraform? Started with 3.6, now you're using 4.0 beta. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, I haven't, uh... I haven't tried anything with the 4.0 yet. I know it had come out with uh, FS Minor doing the r early release of the beta, but I haven't uh, done anything with it. I mean, depending on where those boulders are, you might be able to raise the ground over them. I don't know how big the boulders are and where they're located on that map, but... Typically, decorative boulders, unless they're made sellable by the map maker, will just, they'll be in the way and there's nothing you can really do about them. 
Because it's not like a painted ground texture, it's actually an object placed into the map. Now, if it could do something like that, that would be pretty interesting, but... Yeah, I know in 19 there was, uh, what was it, a... A mod that allowed you to hide... Objects in the map. So that their collisions and stuff wouldn't be there, you could... Basically hide them from view. I don't know as if that mod's come back out with 22 yet. Oh wow, the the big big boys then. Yeah, unfortunately, unless the map maker makes them um, sellable, then the it's no different than like a a building that's been placed into the uh, into the map. Not much you can do about it. Unless you know how to mod the map yourself. Um, which, of course, the minute they update the map and you... You'd have to do it all over again. Making some progress. Should be able to start getting the new uh new gold masters placed in here soon. Ah, I gotcha. Yeah, unfortunately, uh Like I said, short of raising the terrain to the point that you go over it, which kind of defeats the purpose of putting in a road, most likely, uh, I, I don't know of any way to get around it other than opening up the map itself and deleting them from the map. Which would work. But if they're doing regular updates to the map, the next time you update the map, they're going to pop back in unless you go back in and delete them again. So scurvy, what uh, what class you been playing on your WoW lately? I uh, my main is my Ret Paladin that I'm raiding with. I'm starting up my Beast Mastery Hunter, getting him up to raiding level as we speak. So Alliance human, or Horde? Oh, human. Alliance, human Ret Paladin, and a Dark Iron Dwarf Hunter. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. My paladin's name is uh, Hyam. Hard to believe, I know. Um, and that's how I got my Twitch name, was from that. <laughs> He's been my character since 2010. Uh, I have a Dwarven Paladin Retribution spec, but I haven't played since Wrath of the Lich King. And his name was uh, Gimradin. Hmm, that's a good Dwarven name. Well, it, it it was actually um, uh, <clears throat> at one point I had uh, I was playing a game and with my 
Yeah, it was it was around where, wow maybe the the one before that that I was playing where I could it, Darius Frost was taken. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, on the server I was on too, I lost Darius Frost as a uh, player name at one point. I I renamed one of my characters. Mm -hmm. Or I, 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 sorry, I deleted my character and went to remake him as the Paladin. And when I did that, I didn't realize the name was tied up for so many hours after deleting your character. Oh, yeah. So I wasn't able to take Darius Frost again. Um, no. <clears throat> And, uh, I ended up renaming him Gimradin, my character. I did end up getting Darius Frost on one of my other characters at some point after that. Oh, nice. But, um, yeah. Yeah. it was actually Gimradin Pogue, I think is what I named him. Um, because yeah. I, uh, in one of the games I was playing, I had switched to using a, uh, a Gaelic translation for Frost Winter's Kiss. Which is Rayod Gimradin's Pog. Gets you tight. Yes. Actually, my oldest son is middle named uh, Rayod because it's the Gaelic uh -huh. translation for Frost. Hmm. Which the night the night he was born was the first night that particular winter that we had frost on our windshields where I live. Uh -huh. No, I'm now, enjoying it. Now, so. now, granted, my wife and I had kind of pre-planned what his middle name was going to be. Uh, um, it just coincidentally that the night he was born was a December 5th, no less, but it was the first night that winter uh, that we'd actually had frost on our windshields. Because he was born at, uh, what... Like ten o'clock at night or something like that. I can never remember remember the exact time he was born. Mm, excuse me. Your favorite place to visit's no longer on the WoW map, huh? Yeah, I I haven't played oh. since Wrath of the Lich King, so I was never in the Cataclysm events or any of that stuff that where they. What was just writing Cataclysm? Which is own. I just remember I used to have a lot of fun in in um, gadgets on. Yep. Yep. Oh god, I trolled so many people in gadgets on, me and my friends. Yep, now I'm just in an uh, LFR. Trying to get some gear. The only coast you can visit by ship or griffin. Ratchet? It's the only coast. I'm I'm confused there. Tigris. Granted, that doesn't yeah, take I, much these days. But. Yeah, and I I it's been so long since I've played WoW and all of that stuff that I don't even remember half the zone names. Stranglethorn Vale is always my favorite zone. Will always be my favorite zone. Stranglethorn was pretty cool. Ungoro was kind of fun getting chased by the. I loved Ungoro for the dinosaurs. Yep. yep. That's got to be my by second the dinosaurs. favorite. That's what I was just about yep. to say. Yep. Yep. Love getting chased by the dinosaurs, and the gorillas. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, pirate, the pirate cove, right? ship option is that the one I'm thinking of you kind of had to like try you, you had to go through another zone and then in the middle of it you had to um... yeah it was a pirate cove yeah it's World of Warcraft farmer gaming yeah yeah I might be streaming some WoW soon so we'll see Lost Rigger Cove. I don't remember. I don't even know if I've ever been there. Huh. The level 45-ish. It, was, it wasn't a very big area. K 
killing ah. South Sea Pirates earned reputation with gadgets on. Oh, now I remember Coast that place. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. South of Thousand Needles. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it, it it was south of Gadget Zon area. You kind of you went into Gadget Zon and then kind of went south in it. Yeah. You zoned into a little cove area. Finally beat it. You finally beat, beat what? what? At level. Ah. Uh, later. Yeah, see, one of one of my favorite ones was actually not even in um, Kalimdor. It was in the uh, what was it, the other continent? The Eastern Kingdoms. Yeah, something like that. Well, that's the name of it. It's the Eastern Kingdoms. Yeah, like I said, it's been so dang long. Mm -hmm. uh, zones by continent. It was. It wasn't Stranglethorn. Was it the Swamp of Sorrows? It was in. The, it was in the Eastern Kingdoms. Um. It would be helpful if I could find. Like a map, because I I know where it was on the map, but I can't remember. Searing Gorge, maybe I think is what it was. No, not Searing Gorge. Gorge. Badlands? Blasted Lands? No. Might have been the Hinterlands. Hinterlands was fun. Because it, it was the... Uh, Airy Peak... Yeah, it might have it might have been there. Um Let's go back to Google here real quick. World of Warcraft. <laughs> Zoom tight. Sorry. I didn't get a chance no, to you're not. World of Warcraft Classic. Do -do 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 -do. Dragon Isles might bring you back there, Darius. It was around this area here. It well, was, that's the area of it, it was like a Iron Forge. It was a contested zone, I remember that, um, and there was only, you know, Stranglethorns wasn't high enough level. So it wasn't Stranglethorn. It was a higher level zone, like mid-30s level. Twilight Highlands, maybe? I don't remember. I don't remember. The, I, I just remember that whatever the zone was, you kind of had to... There was a, a horde sit town that you could fly into. Uh, but you kind of had to go through this very narrow, like, canyon to get to it. And I say, I say canyon, but it was more of like a, uh, like a wooded, uh, path. The zone below Ashenvale. Um. Yeah. Could be, I don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long. That's rough. Uh, but... 
Joan Allen Mountains. Contested zone. That might have been. I just remember me and my friends, we used to go there frequently and um, cause mayhem and destruction, uh, killing all of the horde that would come out of this particular town, and I was bait as my dwarven paladin, and they would hide night elf hunter and rogue and stealth in place while I was sitting there as bait. And the enemies would come out and hit me, and then I would bubble if I got stunned, and before you know it, they were dead because the rogue who was... Basically, I was running circles around the stealth rogue who would sit there, and then the night elf was just up in the... a little bit further off because his stealth wasn't as good. And yeah, we'd, we'd sit there and for hours on end make sure no horde came into or out of town. And then one night, I basically killed a horde druid, back before the alliance could be druids. Uh, and yeah, the, the servers went nuts after that, because uh, there we go. Uh, you know, a paladin should never, ever be able to kill a horde. You mean a shaman? Shaman, yes, yeah, shaman. That's what I meant. Because night elves could be sh uh, could can be druids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was shaman. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Um, and there's no way a paladin should have ever been able to kill a shaman, let alone one five levels higher than me. But I did. Back in vanilla, when <laughs> retribution was a laughed at spec. Well, the that's after it's... they got the nerf bat early on, and they've always received the nerf bat. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm talking vanilla vanilla back when even the devs laughed at the idea of a uh, Retribution Paladin spec. It was kind of yeah. there as a third tree uh, to give Paladins a third tree. <laughs> I remember that hate back in the day. Yep. And Big Vito coming in with a tier one sub three months in a row now, Vito. Thank you very Ooh. much for that. How are you doing today, sir? <clears throat> yeah, it was kind of... Uh, fun to play around back then, because everybody would underestimate me as a Retribution Paladin. Or as a Paladin in general, like... You, you know, you, it, it, was, it was always just a laughable thing until I, you know, promptly stomped them into the ground. But yeah, I, I spent probably ten minutes fighting that shaman going circles around him. And he couldn't kill me, because every time he'd get me low, I'd have a bubble and I'd shield up and it was it was pretty funny he kept running back to town to try and get guards to aggro me and <laughs> I'd stay just out of range taunting him and they'd he'd come back and try to attack me and I'd whoop his butt and yeah it, it, it was one of those situations where you could tell it was probably an inexperienced player. Yeah. Because a shaman should have eaten me for lunch if they had any real experience playing the game. Uh, but me being an experienced good player versus somebody that didn't really know what they were doing and just was playing for the fact that they were an overpowered class. You know, s skill won the day in that case. How's it going there, Lady Rosie? How you doing? So yeah, it was, uh... Like I said, I spent probably ten minutes going round and round circles with this guy, fighting him. 
and uh, in the end, he ended up having to run off and, and hide because I was whooping his keister. And he immediately hit the forums going, Paladins need a nerf because one of them almost killed me and I had him out-leveled and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, you know, skill comes into it too, Chief. I'm doing pretty good there, uh, Lady Rosie. Can you go get me a Pepsi out of the fridge, please? If you're going to be standing there staring at me. <laughs> Might as well be doing something useful, right? Oh, you know, I, I sit there telling him not to run in the house and the whole nine yards. and uh, I want to say, Farmer Gaming, I had gotten this one off of... King Mods? No, this one came, I think, off of one of the FS22 sites. I don't remember which one. Um, it came off of... I think this one here. Ham. I'll know which one it is. This one here. Um, again, I'm using this with 3.5, and you'll notice in my log when I open it up, um, it does throw a warning with the, ter uh, with the terraforming, because it doesn't recognize the machine type in the code, um, but it does still work, and it's basically just saying it, it's... Uh, Terraform is throwing a warning that uh, the machine type is nil because it wasn't fully implemented for this particular vehicle. Um, I do have the Bomag Tigris, uh, but again, on the version of Terraform I've got, because I'm still on 3.5, the Bomag uh, doesn't have an actual... Uh, It doesn't actually work. So I have it, but um, it doesn't work with Terraform. Same with uh, FS Miner, the one that he's got that has the uh, vibrating roller with the sheep's foot drum as well that you can put on it. I've got that version as well. Uh, but it doesn't work with the 3.5 Terraform. And that's the one that I was able to get it to work with Terraform, but in order to do it, I had to change the vehicle type to match this one, and then it lost its ability to have the vibrating drum on and off. So I had messed around with it a little bit, but... Yeah. Uh, like I said, I haven't used it at all either. I've just heard from, I think it was Boom that said it didn't work with Wolf Creek for whatever reason. I don't know what particular error it was throwing or anything like that. There you go, Farmer Gaming. I was going to say, um, sorry I didn't get yeah, you a message. With 4.0, the only way to get it so that the field types don't change is they have to be registered in the map. And they aren't in PV Wolf Creek. The dirt. I think that's the only one that they have that we don't I, have registered. I, I think that was supposed to have been pulled out of 4.0, the dirt. Well, they still, whenever you put 4.0 in, it does change the, um... It does, yeah. Textures, so... Because the dirt else. was supposed to have been pulled out, and I was looking at it, um... Some of the coding on it the other day to try and see what had been causing the issue, 
But, like I said, I, I didn't actually put it in the game. I was just looking at the code itself. Um, to see if it still was trying to register the fill type. Mm -hmm. But, um, that's when I noticed that... Because I, I know one of the changes they made with 4.0 was it was supposed to read the fill types of your map uh, and add them into it so you could then... Uh, you know, if you had ore or coal or one of the other ones that wasn't already registered in the um, mod, it would add it to the mod. So you could then dig up, you know, ore or sand or whatever um, if it had a different name than what the mod was looking for. Uh, much like they did with the textures. So I can get all of the different textures you added to the map as textures with um uh right the mod i don't know Vito. this is literally the first time i have played with it since um the update so i don't know if it did or not and maple brook farms thank you for the follow welcome into the channel Um, let's see. Yours is not distributing anymore, huh? Um, what I was saying is I, I didn't get to your message until just before I started streaming, but I did respond back. Um, in the future, a lot of my commands, even if I'm not streaming or somebody isn't streaming and they've got commands, you can go to their channel click the chat button and type the command into chat even if they're not streaming and it'll bring up the command so exclamation vca in this case you could use it even when i'm not streaming in my chat and it would uh bring that up but uh let's see i did fill i gotta find my stinking water tank All right, uh, yeah, it's just exclamation VCA. It's been forever since I've even updated it, so I don't know. I'm, I guarantee I'm not on the latest version. Water distribution tank. Mine's distributing, because I know I filled it, filled it. I still had a couple hundred liters left in my trailer, so it seems to still be distributing on mine. Yeah, it's keeping everything topped off. Uh, the link I just gave you brings you to the latest version. Uh, well, it looks like actually, as a matter of fact, January 23rd seems to be the last time they updated. Oh, no, uh... I need to change my I need to change my uh command 13 days ago You see he's got the um, this one here but it's it lists it as the first one here updated mod description L10N But my command brought it uh, brings it to a different spot. One second. Pretty sure my kid just fell in the other room. Uh -oh. I heard it was a large bang. Yeah, because mine will bring you to here where the where you can download the file, and it says January twenty third, build one oh six. But when you click back here, twenty two, they updated the mod description thirteen days ago. So 
the rest of it hasn't been updated in a while though so it does look like build 106 might be the most recent I, it, it could be I don't know dads and I was just clicking around looking at stuff like boop, 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 boop. yeah see he hasn't updated the official um terra farm yet to 4.0 oh doesn't look like there's an official there yet These things probably still have a boatload of diesel in them, yep. That's going to take forever to get through. My goal is to stick gravel. Ah! You stupid... Thing. Oh, button. My goal is to stick one like here. That's what I get for playing too many different games lately. You lose track of right click versus left click for placing things. <laughs> I'd like to place one like here. Maybe I will go straight with it. Try to get it placed in here as best I can. Put one here like that. Then I want to go one over here, which means I still need to fill in a lot of space in that corner. And then the other one was going to be going opposite over here. How's it going there, Sense Fan? There we go. We've got the money, so let's just get this done. That's a lot of area to fill in. I'm doing all right. Been struggling with the back a little bit lately, but... I'm hanging in there. Got yourself two cheeseburgers. Dang you. I want a cheeseburger. I just had cheeseburger one for supper. Cheeseburger in paradise. Just had one for supper the other night too. Last night. I should have a cheeseburger. Sounds delicious. A cheeseburger from the local 
local little food mart corner store type place. Nice. I need to make some Guinness burgers again. I haven't done that in a long, long time. Reduce Guinness. Mix in cheese and bacon into the hamburger. And grill it up. Oh my god, those are delicious. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. I hear you there, Farmer Gaming. Reminds me I need to, well, w once we get our car back, I need to go to the grocery store again at some point myself and pick up um, dinosaur chicken nuggets and smile mm. fries because once in a while I just get it in my, a kick in my head that I've got to have dinosaur nuggets and <laughs> chicken and, and, and smile fries. Yeah, 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 sure. Nothing wrong with that. I can be a kid, too. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Da, 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 da. Something like that, right? Indeed. Going back to old school stuff. Uh, whole map orange trees. Ah, there you go. Well, I'd I'd say you're welcome, Dragon, but it wasn't me that did go Wolf Creek, so that that's all Senor Dave. It's all his fault. You're welcome. I don't know if I would want to be reminded of California. Yeah, well, so some some people actually enjoy it there. I didn't. They, it, Billy's sending you more love letters in Discord, Dave. I see him, and I don't care. There's your answer, Billy. Nothing is going to be done about what the problem is because it can't be done after the map without a restart and Reaper's not going to restart so tell him to just shut the heck up. Oh. Eight. There. There's my answer. <laughs> Ouch. Row. <laughs> Somebody's getting like Nancy Pelosi and telling everybody to shut up. Wow. Ooh, Dave, are you going to stand for that? Because that, nope. that, that was below the belt. <laughs> that was fully below the belt. Sorry, I just thought of it. Here we are. <laughs> I'd apologize, Scurvy. That was pretty mean. Yeah. <laughs> he, he wants the sheep farm to remove the manure bunker. It can't be removed in a save game. I can remove it from everybody's game, but some people might now be using that. Fun. Never know. He knows how to make stuff invisible in the map. He's done it before. Work around it. There's a lot of map there. Bunker only takes a very tiny piece. Make it a decoration. Put a placeable over the top of it. Yeah, you could do that. Sometimes. <laughs> Right. Dave tried last night and it didn't go. It so would it well. well, it will work. It depends on the placement. Right, KW, mm. but either way it would cause a restart. He, Dave could do it, but it would still cause a restart. Well, what? Because it's not a placeable object already. If I make it sellable, it disappears from everybody's save game. It's as simple as that. And some people may be using it, so we're not going to make it sellable. The, but that was it something to, that and it Giants would not, right. did, KW, not Dave. Which you're probably aware of, but... Simple as if I make it sellable, then anybody that already has a save game, it has to disappear. And that's the issue. 
not that I can't make it, it's just the previous save games lose them. And I'm not going to do that right now because it's just a stinking freaking manure bunker. It's not that big of a deal. Put a cow barn in. Problem solved. Right. Exactly. That's the biggest thing you've got to worry about right now. You need to make a trip to Ukraine. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> yep. <How's> that. <laughs> and you said mine was below the belt. Jeez. Yeah, well, you did just call Dave Nancy Pelosi. I said he's right. kind of okay. acting like Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> uh, I didn't call him Nancy Pelosi. I mean, good God. Uh, that's. Uh... You said he was acting like, which is kind of like calling him. Is this sort of like a Snickers commercial for Pleasant Valley? I guess. <laughs> Not feeling yourself? Here, have a Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Too of funny. Where is the Ukraine? Uh, right, Nanak. Right. Right. I find it hard to believe you don't know where the Ukraine is, sir. Mm -hmm. That that you are Let's correct right there, Jordy lad. You are absolutely correct. Yes. You are not wrong with that whatsoever at all. Not that Reaper's no. ever happy. <laughs> I he just said I, he typically is. Oh, yes. It's, yes. Yeah, he usually is. Yeah. I'm, giving, I'm just picking with, up because I can't do situation. anything about it at this point. So. Right. What I'm else are we going to do? Pick on Reaper. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I, 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 to be Let's fair... Give Boomhauer a break. To be fair, didn't Reaper have early access? Why didn't he say something then? Uh -huh. This is true. Yeah, this, this is very, very true. true. So Reaper lost out on his edition in there. Therefore, it's Reaper's fault. Yeah. I don't Tell see me nobody can get in touch with Dave. Billy kept clogging up his DM. But, uh, well, that's possible. <laughs> true. I mean, that's... Reaper's one message amongst the four million that Billy sends. Right. A day. Hey, Re Reapers, welcome to come get in Discord just like anybody else in the SGA. Yes, he could. Actually, I, he does. I, he has been quite a bit. He's like up four hundred percent from last year. I think I have times this successfully. Year? Yes. I think I'm the okay. only one to successfully get him in here. No. Yeah. He must like you. Although. I doubt it. <laughs> 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 it's the non-camera streamers that stick together now all of a sudden. <laughs> oh. Well, that's the only two that's left of SGA that, that doesn't is, have cameras. That is true. Oh, that apparently is true. one of Reaper's viewers had had an issue with it. Uh, that's what Reaper went to look at. It. Okay, so it wasn't uh, Reaper himself. All right. right. Well, the sense. Reaper's viewer will have to uh, live with it. <laughs> That now kind of... Dave really isn't going to do nothing about it Doubt since it. it wasn't Reaper. <laughs> Poor. Reaper will still let you play with his sticks, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and on that Boy. note, uh, I hear the Mets were a baseball team and they still suck. Um, Is there even baseball this year? No. Uh, not so What's far. baseball? Yeah, yes, I'm exactly missing right. one bit. Oh, <laughs> what's, They're what's replacing baseball? it. After the Sosa McGuire, I'm good. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, where is that one? Is that a dancing pickle, Nanak? Apparently, yes. I don't think it's dancing, but it's, it's most definitely a pickle. A pickle. Yep. It's a pickle with a big cleft chin, I guess. Huh? Don't pick on my pickle. <laughs> Don't you tickle my pickle. How about that? <laughs> so oh, dang. <laughs> oh, I was on the verge of it. Yeah, you know. Your voice, and like, oh. 
Big, I, I'm beginning to wonder there, Big Daddy. First, you're, you're, you're playing with another man's sticks, and now you're tickling pickles. <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't play with sticks. I said Dave. No, 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 Dave can still play with Reaper's sticks. That's what I was going Oh, for. oh, oh. Yeah, okay. not me. Uh, I don't. Nope, I don't do that. You're the one that brought it up. All right. Well, you know it's coming. Just a matter of time. I, I, again, with the verbiage. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, Dave. That's that's exactly. my thoughts exactly. So if we had a PG sticker, we'd just have to put underneath it ish. You know, in... Yes. <laughs> ish. yes. PG -ish. We're, 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 we're Disney PG. They do all of this crap too, so I don't want to hear it. Shrek. Shrek. Technically, it was PG. You know how many PG adults? PG is show? the new R. Who are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. Stop tickling my pickles. A good stream name, and therefore, oh, it. PG is a new R. That's another good stream title name. <laughs> oh come on! They canceled the opening day. Yeah. I don't know. I can't watch baseball. I can't either. I, used I to could watch. Baseball. I, I could used watch, to watch baseball very much, over. I don't watch Football. any of them anymore. And when they, yeah. It's after Barry Bonds thing with the whole steroids ad. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. It's filling out of both of them. Okay, whatever. It's filling out of both. Of them. Yeah, I'm filling the trailer. And it's filling out of this and that. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. As long as the stinking thing is filling. I'll come back in three years when you're done. See, and that's why I can't watch baseball. Because it's pitch, pitch, oh, swing, oh, no, he missed. About the same as football. When did the game end? Uh, see, f football I, I used to watch, but when they started getting all political and crap, I started, I stopped watching them. Yeah. But it, at least that one, oh, ooh, big hit, ooh, oh, you know, stuff like that, get him, get him. Do stuff like things like that, but now Every it's like freaking thing on TV is freaking political. Oh yeah, no, I have, it's why I don't have TV. There. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't have TV anymore. <laughs> I just don't like sports. To uh, yeah. They, all I gotta know, all I gotta say is I have been watching some like. uh well, I did get into finally watching season two of The Witcher. I've gotten a little bit into that. Ooh, I finished good. Jack Reacher. Fantastic. Jack Reacher was fantastic. W Willa Fitzgerald, I think, is her name. The the co-star there. She's pretty hilarious. Yes. Yeah, Al Alan Richardson or whatever his name is oh, there, the yeah, guy that played. Did. He had to gain Did. 30 pounds for that role. Yeah. He, and he is a big He's dude. built like a freaking tank. He is. I mean, he is a big he is, dude. He, that, is one, that is not one small dude in there. What is his daily calorie intake just to maintain his mass? He's only 6'2"? He seems so much bigger. He's. I would have thought on screen he would be like 6'7", at least. Yeah, I, I figured at least like six four, six five. Yeah, yeah. I but, guess it's just with the camera angles and his other co-stars that were shorter. Yeah, I mean he, he's he's a big dude. Yeah. He he definitely plays the part. <laughs> and he put on weight for the role to look like that in the <laughs> in the TV show and. Yeah. I did also uh, start watching a little bit of that 
show that uh, Reyes, Evil Reyes, have been talking about, or uh, the Vox Machina. Vox Machina. Uh, it's a animated. Um, Ow. On it, it's on Amazon Video, but it's based off of the uh, a group of tabletop D and D players. I don't watch cartoons. Um. Well, they they did it That's animated because you. it's you know it's Dungeons and Dragons, so the the magic and things like that and the whatever else. It's a little easier to do with, uh, with anime, but the like the writing and the stuff that goes on, like the first three four minutes in, I was laughing so hard my wife had to yell at me from the other end of the house to quiet down. It w it was that good, um, just to kick things off because I mean it's very lewd, it's very inappropriate, uh, swearing, you name it. it. It's it's a pretty funny show, <laughs> uh, as far as that stuff goes. Um, I had a uh, how's it going there, Cope? Uh, I had a fun time watching quite a few episodes of that. What else have I been doing lately? Because, of course, I've been laying in bed half of the time. Haven't started Wheel of Time yet. I need to restart that. I watched some other Netflix stuff, I thought. Getting rid of Netflix hey, soon, so I've been... Yeah. Kind of... hey, check out uh, Murderville. If you haven't seen that in yet. Oh, hysterical! Nope. Oh I my god, that one. Uh, but yeah, no. I after they're raising their prices again, I'm getting rid of Netflix. Mm -hmm. Netflix is gonna go. No, no sense in keeping Netflix. Uh, you much prefer the '80s style anime? Yeah. Akira. All right, guys, I'll be back. I'm gonna go eat dinner. All right, okay, yep, All right, NBC. Yeah, see, I, I've, I never read the book series. I thought I had. I thought my wife had read it specifically, um, because it sounded familiar. But I've never actually read the series. Or if I did, I don't remember it. Um. But I did see, um, speaking of 80s animes, Akira is one of my favorite animes of, like, of all time. There is somebody doing a live-action adaptation of Akira. <clears throat> Vampire Hunter D, yep. My wife was a big fan of that one. I'm sure a lot of people know who Taika Waititi is. Watch your mouth. Because you tight. He is working on a screenplay for Akira. Ooh, he's working on a Star Wars film, too. That'll be interesting. Hmm. He, he's he's pretty good, I think, as a writer, producer, actor. He was That's the voice of Korg and Thor. He's he's the, uh, produced and stuff for uh, quite a few of the um, Marvel movies and stuff like that. I have not seen it, Bodine. I was never big into Halo myself to begin with. But, uh, yeah, he was also in... Um... Free Guy. He played Antoine. Opposite Ryan Reynolds. But, 
and what most people don't realize because he's his face has changed so much. He was in Green Lantern opposite Ryan Reynolds back in the day. The the, the one movie that they both kind of like refused to acknowledge. It's kind of funny. Alright. Good enough. Good enough. I just need to top off a couple. You don't have Paramount, but you saw the preview during the NFL playoffs. Ah. Yeah, see, I don't have Paramount either. Excuse me. I need to get caught up on Yellowstone and Night Error 1883. Which one's 1883? Precursor to, or prequel of Yellowstone. Ah, uh, alright, gotcha. That's how the Dutton Family Ranch got started. Ah, uh, I haven't watched either. Yellowstone's freaking um, If you like westerns, you would love it. Yeah, I haven't watched either. I do know there is going to be an upcoming series that I'm going to have to try and keep my eyes out for and watch, but I don't, I haven't looked at it and, or checked up on it in a couple weeks since I first saw it announced, but, um, Justified. Yes! Is Justified. a reboot. Yep. Or not, no, I... I don't think it's a reboot, I think it's just a, uh continuation of events from justified yep I, i'm yes. really looking forward to that i want to i need to see deputy Timothy u.s marshal Raylan givens he that show was just freaking yeah. the writing was spot freaking on yeah that. throws a bullet at the on. guy next one's coming fast i mean faster oh that was yeah saw it in a movie <laughs> that's why i did it Oh, that was good. Yeah, saw it in a movie. <laughs> okay, it's full. Walter Goggins did such a good job. As oh, yeah, Wal Wal Walter Goggins was a really good... Uh... Dirtbag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did He did great opposite Timothy Oliphant. Oliphant. It's like they... Their acting is like they knew each other for years, and they were just playing back and forth off of each other on some of the stuff. Yeah, they they, they were really good playing back and forth. And the person who played, I don't remember his name, but the the uh, Rainland's boss, uh, Nick Searcy. Yeah, they, they 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 had really good chemistry on screen. Oh, they had too. fantastic chemistry in there for him. Yeah. Th those like. It's what made that show so great, I think, is because they just the, the the cast really worked well together. Well together, yep, absolutely. So yeah, I uh, I thoroughly enjoyed watching that show. I never finished watching it because towards like season what was it five, I think, things yeah, kind of got a little of... bit weird. Yeah, at the time, yeah, they. The plot was a little weird. Convoluted after Waldo at that Truth. point. Yeah. yeah, it was convoluted. is is a very good word for it. Waldo Truth was kind of like the beginning of the end, and there for it, I thought. Uh, so, and I mean, you know, the season ended well. It wasn't a bad ending for it. Yeah, because they originally had ending. six seasons. I think it was right. Yes, it was six seasons. Yes. 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 Yeah, and I, 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 I've, I've started rewatching the series several times, but I always kind of around season five ish, I start to lose interest a, a little bit in it. Yeah. So I never really yeah. finished watching all of it. Yeah. But yeah, it was definitely a good show. Uh, you have to go to the Giants Developer Network, I believe it is, for the editor. Yeah. You'll have to yeah. create an account to log in to do it. Alright, let's...
let's go get those three new uh, gold masters filled up with a little bit of diesel. I should watch Gold Rush tonight. I'm behind a couple episodes. I haven't watched Gold Rush since season six or seven. Yeah, there's a few more seasons. <laughs> yeah. Well, every now and then I'll catch clips and stuff like that of what's going on, but yeah, I haven't watched it in a couple seasons. Because originally I was like binge watching it from the very beginning and catching up on all of it. Yeah. And then I stopped watching it around it was around season six or seven or something like that. Um, I'd been watching it with the kids and stuff, and we we'd been really into watching it. And then I stopped at one point. My son watched it for a bit, few more seasons than I did, but I still watch it. I like the heavy equipment in there. You know. It's oh, it just... is it is cool and it is fun to watch and see how they do and everything else, but. There's, there's a lot of stuff that goes on that you're like... Yeah, really? It, it happened in this order? Yeah. You didn't know this was going to break down? You know, it's like, yeah. Well, it, it, it almost seems like the uh, the uh, creators, like Discovery or whatever, was like making a lot of that stuff happen. Yeah. I heard so, a lot of it was... Scripted. Uh, apparently, I've got chicken fingers, fries, and what did she get me? I see a ketchup. hamburger pizza. Ooh. Well, let's face it. These guys aren't making their millions off of the gold. <laughs> oh, no, no. Par right. Parker Schnabel definitely made his millions off the gold. Yeah. 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 And well, I don't know if he made the millions. Oh, no, They're he, making he, it he, off he, of the television did. show. Uh, Par Parker mined one season 4,000 plus ounces. Yep, that's yeah, that's a lot of freaking gold. He made probably more it's... still doing the television show. Now, so. now oh, yeah. granted, <laughs> that you have real. to pay... Oh, no, it's... Right. It, it's real. Do you realize how easily it would be for Discovery to do it that way? I yeah. fully, I, under I I get fully when, understand when that, but it's been backed up by other sources. When he was on Grandpa's claim, that, yes. When the show first started, but... He, he, his... did, he did manage one of those ones in the Klondike there with on Tony Beats' claim, and there's... He still is, yeah, that's... Yeah. It's, and uh, and Tony, Tony Beats has made millions as well, and, yes. and I, I well. say they really have made the millions because it's been corroborated through other sources. Yeah. I mean, Tony Beats has been up there for 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 decades. Yeah. Yeah. You you look at the equipment he's got, and yeah, it's it's millions of dollars worth of equipment. So you he's paid for that equipment somehow. He got a 950 Volvo this year. Yeah, he also got a D11 brand new. 950 excavator. That yep. thing is. You thought the seven the 700 was huge? Oh my God. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the, the 950 is a two and a half million dollar piece of equipment and he bought it brand new. Yep. Yep. Between that and the D11 he bought brand new. That's uh, about five million And then bucks. He, he also bought, uh, they were used, but it was like four or five rock trucks he rock bought. Rock trucks. Yeah. All, all told, it was something like a six million dollar investment for this most recent yep. season. Um, he also got two new cat excavators, like three, 389s, I want to say. Yep. I think they're 389s. You can tell they're cat just by the by the shape of them and the uh, the logos blurred out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reminds me, speaking of Gold Rush, I was watching a, uh, a video the other day on YouTube. Somebody was... I think they were in California somewhere. It just happens to be where they were. Um, they were... And I don't know the validity of the, the coin or whatever, but they were offering people a $20 bill or a one-ounce gold coin. Your choice. 
one ounce the, gold coin. Yes, a one ounce that. gold coin. Yeah, because that's but, like. But he he, nobody took the coin. Oh my god. Wow. Because well, like somebody thought the twenty dollar bill was worth more more than the one ounce gold coin. Uh, no. No, Sorry, no, it's definitely not. Uh, the uh, it's about worth about two hundred times or a hundred times more right now. Yeah. Especially yeah, right now with everything going on. At, with at the Ukraine, time of the video, it was gold. like nineteen hundred dollars an ounce for gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I asked my wife the same thing: one ounce gold coin or twenty dollar bill, and she goes, "Well, twenty dollar bill." She goes, uh, "I don't know how much gold is worth." I go, "Yeah, it's worth a lot more than that twenty dollar bill." <laughs> but he, uh, and of course, after people made their choice, he was like, "You'll." Know, let me guess, because you don't know what you do with the coin, and they, basically, everybody was like, yeah, I mean, what am I going to do with a one-ounce gold coin? He goes, well, you could have taken it and walked into that coin store right there and gotten about $1,800 for it. <laughs> and everybody was like, is it too late to change my mind? And they're all like, yep, sorry, here's a $20 bill, bye. <laughs> Part of my investment plan is, is buying gold coins. If I can. There you go. I used to have a bunch of silver that I found, but yeah, I, ne I, I never got silver. it. I never got it, uh, you know, smelted down and purified. Yeah, I don't have 100 ounces in silver yet, so. I I don't know what I did with it, but I I had a couple pounds of it at one point in time. This was, I mean, this was years and years ago. Yeah. Well. Could worth a lot more now, that's for sure. Tadpole coming in with a tier one sub four months in a row now. Thank you very much, Tadpole. I do appreciate that. Again, I don't know whatever happened to it because I originally found this silver. Literally, I mined it out of the rock myself. Oh, back cool. twenty-five years ago. Oh, neat. I I I came across it at one point. Um, a vein of it, and I was. Just, the heck is this you know it, it, it looks weird don't know what's going on you know it, it's wicked heavy um, silver in color you know no no idea what's going on with it and we ended up um, somebody was able to verify for me at one point that it was silver I had found uh, but I don't know what the purity of it was or anything like that and I ended up and I pulled a bunch of it out of some quartz veins um, near a house that my dad had been renting back in the day. Big Vito gifting a tier one sub to Farmer Gaming. Thank you very much, Vito. I do appreciate that gifted sub to Miss hey, Big Vito. Becky. There we go. And Tadpole, thank you for those two bits. He gave you his two cents. Yeah. But Literally. But I think on that note, my wife did just bring me supper, and I want to eat it while it's warm. Your egg is going to get bigger, yes indeed. Actually, you're you're now going to have a fully hatched dragon. Woohoo! I believe. But I think we're going to go raid somebody real quick, so I can eat my supper. Uh, let's see. Broadway, Mary, Mary. I guess we can raid Mr. Reaper, who's streaming right now. Don't fear the Reaper. Or do. No, nope, I don't fear the Reaper. Okay. I, I do Good. have an incoming Good hype song. train, but... I, I also have food. Aaron... Food. 864, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the channel. How are you doing? Yes, I, a hype train is close, but hasn't started yet, so. <clears throat> Food is much better than any train. I agree. Especially since I unless, haven't eaten. Unless it's a food train. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair good point there. Hmm. 
I guess it depends on what's on said food train. Real meat, not this fake meat crap. Indeed. What are you talking about? You don't like soy eggs? No. Yeah, see, I, I've got pizza, I've got chicken fingers, and I got french fries. And at least they didn't, like, overcook the fries. This place, depending on who's there making the food, sometimes they will, like, they'll set the timer on the fry later for too long, and they, they like, burn the heck out of the fries. You can't burn the fries. They can't be underdone, but they can't be overdone either. You gotta find that happy medium for them, for mm. sure. Yeah. Oh, see, me, I prefer, like, a steak fry. I like the... I love a... If it's done right, I love a good steak fry. Yep. Yep. I, I, I do just mostly because of the fact that, you know, I like the extra potato. Yep. And there's more... It, it's a bigger vessel for moving ketchup. Yes. Now, what I also enjoy on my fries are is a good uh, barbecue sauce in there too. There, switch it back to the old tractor trailer truck. Hey, scurvy. Yeah. What you doing? Uh, playing World of Warcraft. What you doing? Setting something up, I wanted to give a shot to. Okay, do you need me to drop down a channel? Uh, yeah, please. Right, uh, go on. to three. Alright. Uno dos tres. I say Darius is getting ready to end. Yep. Okay. But I'm gonna head on over to Mr. Reaper. He can keep you guys company. And I will probably be live again tomorrow. Don't know what I'll be doing yet. We'll figure that out in the morning. Uh, until then, you guys take care. Have a fantastic rest of the day. And stay safe.